today I've um, spent the whole day doing the boat because the weather's improved a little bit so you've got to make uh, use of the uh, weather while it still happens so today I've just been uh, I've just washed it and um, it's not finished you see it's still in the process of painting it which has taken since August 2016 so it's, uh, it just goes on and on you know so um, I do what I can on it but it's a big job so I suppose it's been the first time after winter that the weather's been of a sort of standard that you can actually do things outside and um, so today I've spent the whole day preparing the boat and uh, let's have a little look see what we've done so what I've done is I've um, down the side here I've basically this tram lines uh, down the side which are not there yet but I've got to paint them on basically so I've had to wash it all with canal water so I washed it first and I used just mild detergent to give it a clean off cleaned it all off on just on this side didn't do the other side and did all cleaned it all down to the gunnels cleaned all the gunnels and um, once it had dried off a little bit I had to to do these uh, tram lines what you've got to do is um, basically use one of these I suppose it's just like a, a meter rule and um, what you need to do is get it in the, the straight bits they need to be in exactly the same distance from the top of the cabin. So what you do is you obviously measure the t measure the distance that you require, and then you go along and you mark it off every every now and then, I suppose, right down and down and down and down and down and down and down. So this is 12 meters this cabin, and. Um, so you do that, that's fairly easy for the straight bits, you do it again for the bottom. And then that leaves you with one line which is the equidistant line from the from the gunnels at the bottom or from the cabin top at the top. So you're left with the top line or the bottom line. Then you've got to get one of these, which is something that came in the post, just a freebie it was. But it's got like a little measuring thing on the side. So all I did was I just took it and I measured an inch and then I, I took it from the top line all the way along an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch and did it along all the way down to the bottom and then from the gunnels obviously I did the same thing all you need to do is I suppose measure it from the top measure it a little bit up, an inch up and then um, and then that's the bottom. So you've done the straight lines then. The most difficult part I suppose. Well it wasn't really, it's not really difficult, it's just a bit of fiddly. You've got to, um, because it's not had tram lines before, I've had to put them on myself. And what you want to do with them is, is you've got to follow this contour. See there's a contour there of the cabin. What you need to do is you need to get an outline of the contour like this. So this was basically some cardboard that I picked up from just an industrial estate. Just to, obviously they've got lots of loading and offloading going on. And if you go to a retail park, you'll find lots of big boxes hanging around. So I swiped one of these boxes and then. Um, I made it into like a stencil and what you do I suppose what I did was just use that stencil as an outline and again what I did was I marked a one line and an outside line and measured an inch in and then you've got you've got your contour there so that's the contour 
which um, there isn't really a lot that go, can go wrong with it. I suppose you have to be a bit more careful because it um, measuring it is because it's a curve. It's it's not as easy to you need to be use your eye. You get an overview of whether it's the right. Um, you know, it's not going to be instantly correct. I had to do it a few times to make sure it was and measure it as well. Once I'd done it, I measured it, made sure it was the right thickness. So, a um, bit more fiddly, but mask it off and it's um, that's fine. Um, so that's the cab inside. And I also do the roof. We've got some effects here on the roof, and this is basically we've got our mushrooms and just little features on the roof there. So um again sort of contours with the edge and uh just mask it all off. Fairly easy on the roof compared to the cabin. It's uh, it's much it's much easier to be honest. You don't you're not on top of the roof it's it's much much more uh Obliging than being on the on the towpath, so I had to use my my um, cape scaffolding plank there to do get something under my knees basically. It's just a pain in the ass. So um, yeah, the roof's much easier. I mean, you just do it. I did it, and then, and then you do the contours and this masking tape's Wilco stuff. I don't like it. It's much too sticky. You don't really want you don't want it. It's going to leave. I checked it out, and it's it's not good stuff. I, you really want the stuff from B and Q. The um, they do different grades and different sorts of stuff. You know, there's all sorts of um, masking tape there, but it's probably worth paying the extra because this, like I say, when you once you come to peel it off, you're going to get some nasty surprises. You know, you want to you want to cut down on that. Um, just get, I'd say pay the extra and get something semi-decent really because this stuff's shit but anyway I'm, I'm using it anyway it's all masked up now and um, I suppose when you're painting you've got to paint it you don't want it to be too hot because um, it doesn't the paint doesn't adhere very well in the it's best to be it's best to be to sort of um, temperate you know you don't want it bright sunshine you want to be kind of warm but no bright sunshine sort of thing. Um, temperate, you want it above dew point as well, so that means it's not too cold. If, you, if you're below dew point, then you get bubbles forming in it. So you need to be above a certain temperature and out of bright sunlight, basically. And um, there's not much wind here. It comes sort of fairly protected. You've got this hedge here. And um, I guess the sun rises over there. Um, so... And then it sets over here, so I've got, I anticipate I'll be able to, it should be alright. I mean, I just, um, I'm just going to pack up now. And uh, I've got, I'll give them, um, have a rest. It's been a hard day, you know, I've been, it's, been, it's taken all day, all day it's taken from probably about 10 till whatever time it is now, 8 o'clock. So it's taken a while. Um, yeah, it's a typical boat painting. So, <laughs> you know, it just goes, it's just a never ending job. So I'm gonna pick it up again tomorrow and um, we'll see how it goes. The, um, just starting again today doing these coach lines on the side. And uh, I've just been round and wiped all, of, all the mast area. Sometimes you get all the spiders and stuff come down in the, uh, you need to get rid of all that detritus, I suppose. So I just went round, wiped it all down this morning, um, cleaned it all off a little bit, and I'm um, just starting to paint now. So I've um, just got my paint and spirits and stuff just in case, and it all appears to be clean. So I'm just going to do it, and then uh, we'll have another look. Yeah. done and well on this side anyway but as I was saying about this the tape that I got from Wix's masking tapes it's not Wix's it's um Wilkes 
it's shit. As you can see all the, um, if you look closely, you can see it's all gummed, all gummed down the, um, so much as I was saying, it just sticks too much. Luckily it didn't rip the paint off, but it just makes two jobs when there was only one really. So this side is the B&Q shit stuff, and that side is the Wilco shit stuff. So this is a, I've had to do this down here, it's a complete nightmare. What, what? So I've done it, it was on this one as well and it goes on all right but you can see the um i've had to do it all with uh just clean the edges of it dab the edges off it's a pain in the ass so that's what we're gonna have to do for this one as well it's time for the next installment of the boat painting tram lines bit so I suppose it's taken me three days. This would be day three. It took, it took me a day to wash it and uh, do the first coat, which was a whole day really. I had a whole day's work. And then it took another, I suppose it was another, yesterday I had to wash it the other side and then I had to mask it. But I didn't have a whole day. It took about, so that, was a, that was yesterday. And then today I just had to go and paint it so I woke up this morning gave it a little wipe get the condensation off it and um, now I've just painted the um, painted it all so um, we'll have a look have a little look um, so here we are and just have a look down it I suppose I had to um, Had to do it this morning just to make sure that it was done. It's the painting's, you know, it's not a difficult thing to do. You just get the paint out, stir it up, put your brush in it, and move the brush backwards and forwards. It's not a difficult job painting a boat. The hard part is preparing it, which doing these tram lines, it didn't. I suppose it's just measure. You have to measure it. You have to be you have to measure them all the same distances. So you've got um, you've basically got that which is a pain in the ass. Um, just time consuming. Um, make the stencils. Do the stencils for the these curvy bits. Stenciled off, and they've got to be equidistant from the curve as well, which is a be a bit of a problem because measuring curves is not always the easiest thing to do. I mean, and also you, you've got the um, starboard side, you're always going to be working in the water, so unless you're in a boat shed, and usually boat sheds you're working in the water anyway, so when you're doing things which are, have to be symmetrical, you have to lean out over the water and do your measuring and stuff, which, which isn't, you know, you don't always, it's not always clear. It's difficult to make measurements when you sort of a strange angle, which you'll find yourself doing if you're leaving out over a boat. But yeah, I'm fairly happy with it. It's kind of, you've got the front, that's going to be, that's a mess really. Carrie and Finn, my sister, painted that. So that's a real, I mean, it's, I don't do anything to it because it's just, um, it looks all right. I mean, from a distance, you know, it looks nice, but it's, it's kind of low. Needs redoing, really. I mean, it's a bit of a mess. So this is the um, this is the tram lines, and uh, at the moment I can't really come out of the hatch because I've painted I've painted down the side here. So um, I've got to wait wait for it to dry a little bit, and then I can move the panel. So that's the rear from the top now. Um, done really, I mean, that's the lines done, uh, need some touching up, here's the other side, so that's the other side, it's all done. Um, some of the gum from the, the um, 
tape I got from masking tape I got from uh, Wilco you can see I don't know if you can see it there's like a ghost like line that runs along the side which is just the the um, gum off the um, off the uh, off the tape yeah and uh, that's, that's, sh that's shit really it's not what you pay for you should pay for tape that it's just tape not tape that, that with um, a film of adhesive when you finished so not happy about that and I had to get some more yesterday so I got some um, I think it was, it was pretty good really uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so um, this is you know, when you look at this there's no residue I don't know if you can see it's just um, that was two ninety nine, and it was a, it was branded stuff. I think it's called duct tape. It's got a picture of a duck on it. So I thought, well, you know, there's ducks here. Must be, must be. It was, I suppose it was. Um, I've heard of it before as well. I think it's uh, they do different stuff. So I picked some of that. Up. I'm very impressed with it. Put it on. Came off this morning. Much, much better. Um, I'm going to let it dry for a couple of hours and then I can move some of this move some of this paraphernalia I don't know and uh, go off to work to do other things so yeah that's the um, for all intents and purposes I mean, I've got to do the flashes on the front here get some flashes for the um, bow here um, that needs doing uh, I need to get like a the CRT number, which is the 007 bit here. I'm going to get that and put that over over here. Maybe I'll put it over this little hole where the um, navigation lights were, because they're not going back on again. Just put it, and that could seal that up. So there's that. There's the flashes, the um, the number. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty much paint wise. Um, it's, I mean, I've got to do this tiller as well. Tiller's got. I think Mum was just going to say she's she's quite keen on doing that, but she's never got around to it. Um, the gas box almost continues. That's always rusting for some reason. So maybe I'm going to have to treat that pretty thoroughly. Put some iron oxide on it or something. Really, you know sort it out properly but that yeah it's always getting it's got lots of chips and stuff in it um, apart from that yeah so place these just a few few bits and pieces and you buy them for it but paint wise it's just yeah I suppose it's it can be um I say it's finished now so there we go